Uh, it's all about timing. Uh, if the, if uh, the, the parliament in the former Yugoslavia of Macedonia uh, votes for the, for the constitutional amendments, uh, I think the most likely is that the agreement will be ratified in both countries. Uh, if, we need early, if we need early elections in Skopje, uh, then, the, then the odds are not uh, for the ratification of the agreement. Uh, the, the earlier the agreement is ratified in Skopje, the more possible is that to be ratified also in Athens. We are heading for possibly for early parliamentary elections in May, at any time after March. So if the process is concluded by January, February, that, that, that is uh, most, the most likely scenario that agreement will be ratified uh, in both countries. It will be, one way or the other, sooner or later, under this government or any other government, because I don't see the prospect of having another agreement like this with Greece in the foreseeable future. The Prespa agreement is a response to a long-standing dispute, to a significant problem that's been plaguing both societies in question, and it was clear that its solution were never, was never going to be easy. The hurdles that we are experiencing at the moment include the difficulties of uh, the adoption of the agreement through the Macedonian Parliament and the constitutional changes, but we've also seen a resignation in the Greek government that's closely linked to it. So it's clear that it's a very burdensome topic. I believe that in the long term, after having overcome some of these hurdles, the agreement will be implemented. Even though we have to keep in mind that even after the constitutional changes, the actual implementation of the agreement will also take a long time and will depend on the political will and behavior of numerous governments in Macedonia and Greece that are yet to come. We can only in this respect hope that most of them will respect the spirit of the agreement, but yet we do have a long way to go by the end of the year and by the next uh, Greek elections in which the constitutional changes in Macedonia need to be adopted, but also for the Greek parliament to ratify the agreement. From the position where I stand, I believe it will possibly also as uh, a hope that it will be implemented so that it finally unblocks Macedonia's European integration as well. Well, I definitely hope so. And the way the constitutional process started seems to be promising that it will finally uh, come through. Uh, it's a lot at stake. Uh, I've been following these questions for the last 10 years and we always spoke about windows of opportunities and they opened up and then they closed again. But this time, I think there is a unique window. It's a huge chance. It cannot be missed. And I definitely hope so the uh, parliament will face its responsibility and do the right thing.